Hello and welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. I'm glad you could join me for another review. Today I've got a pretty neat product. It is Snap Circuits Brick Structures. It comes with a lot of the familiar pieces with Snap Circuits, except this one is based around building your own structures with a Snap Brick system. And you put all that on a Snap Brick base plate, just like Lego. If you haven't seen this, it's pretty cool. You might want to stick around. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow the channel and click that bell notification button so you know when new videos are uploaded. That way you can keep up with all the cool and interesting things we're doing. So with the Snap Circuits brick structures, you don't use the standard Snap Circuits base plate that you'd see in the uh, arcade kit, but uh, you use a Lego style base plate and a Lego style building block that snaps together. And the thing I like about this is that it connects to other uh, building blocks as an example, I'll use these three um, brick structures blocks and I will attach those to the Lego uh, kiosk or whatever this is here. This is a Lego item. It does attach very easily. Here you can see that it attached to the Lego pieces with no problem. And just for good measure, I am going to uh, put a Buzz Lightyear and a chick in a tie-dye t-shirt on here. These are Lego characters. This does allow you to build out your project using both um, Lego or whatever building block you have. And you turn over the back of the box here. It has a list of all the parts and components that you hit, you need that you will uh, have in the box. And over here it has a just a sample project that you can check out. So when you open your box, you are presented with all the same parts that are listed on the back of the box. You've got your building blocks in the middle and the bags. You've got your jumper cables tied up there. You've got your LEDs. And here's the battery case. Well, these are new, I think, and, and they're pretty neat. They're called 3D snaps. There's two of them. And they allow you to connect two LEDs to each of them, allowing you to place your LED in a vertical or horizontal position, more of a 3D shape for your projects. That's pretty cool. And here is the most important tool in the entire box. It is the brick removal tool. It will save your fingers. It makes removing a brick so easy. Make sure you don't lose that. Here is another neat item. This is called the lined lens LED attachment. You basically put it over an LED and it splits the light up into lines. Here is the fiber optic tree. It allows you to bend light and uh, when it's projected uh, underneath it or through it and it'll add a little bit of light to your projects. It's pretty neat. And here is the mounting base that it goes on. I do want to show you just how easy it is to build these items and how how well everything is laid out in the book. It shows you exactly what you need for each step. And the most important part is counting these uh, raised tabs or whatever on the bricks and on the base plate. So just make sure it lines up with the diagram and you won't have an issue at all. I did want to show you that the mounting base for my fiber optic tree does not sit flush uh, over the LEDs like they do in the book. Um, I, I guess it's not a big deal, but uh, it, would, it would look better. But anyway, I just kind of set it firmly on there. You can't do it too hard or you'll break the LED. Well, here are the um, LEDs hanging vertically using the 3D snaps that I was talking about earlier. You can see them at the top and the bottom there. And these projects also work really well if you dim the light just a little bit. Uh, here's another example of the 3D snaps holding the LEDs uh, horizontally. If you look underneath each of the electronic pieces, whether it's the LEDs, the a light or the switch or the battery pack, you will see that there are the blue um, tabs, the, the blue adapters. That is what attaches those pieces to the bricks and the base plate. This is an excellent product for the, the price. You're going to see it online for about $32. Right now, it's on Amazon for $32. Right now, January 10th, 2020, it is on the teachersupplysource.com for $15.30. I don't know what they charge for shipping, but that's a pretty good price. The quality and durability of this product is is also really good and, and you want that because you want it to last a long time. And 
it just feels like it's it's made really well. It's solid. Uh, the bricks snap together great. Sometimes they're a little difficult to get apart, but I'll talk about that here in just a second. The book will take you up to 26 uh, projects, but you can extend your um, your projects beyond that, especially with uh, being able to use Lego bricks. These fit perfectly with Lego bricks. And once we do that, we'll uh, put a picture up on the uh, the Facebook page or up on Twitter. Well, you just heard the, um, it's called the Melody IC, and that is uh, just a little tune that you'll hear um, often in bells or, you know, toys, phones, or whatever. My grandparents actually had one of those tones as their doorbell, but that's, it's only got a couple, and it does get old fast, and it's kind of loud. I just wanted to mention the, um, the look of this as it's blinking this looks really cool and in, in dim light and you you can shine it against the walls it it has great uh, pictures if you take pictures of it they turn out fantastic the light is very vibrant and i just i just always thought it looked cool I actually uh, let this one go for quite a while and just sat there and span <laughs> spun it around in circles so yeah very neat i enjoyed that well, I'd, I'd have to say that I've enjoyed this just as much as I have enjoyed the Snap Circuits Arcade. This is called the Diagonal Circuit, and it is put together in such a way that it makes the Melody IC go crazy, if you can hear that. So the question would be, can you learn circuits or electronics by using this kit? And I would say yes to a certain degree. You could learn how to set up basic circuits like your um, your series circuits and your parallel circuits. And you can play around with these, these things and, and see what kind of results you get as you switch around the, this, the LEDs. Um, and sometimes even if you put it together wrong and it doesn't work, it's an educational... Um, experience trying to figure out where you went wrong. So I think this may be the single most um, annoying thing for someone if uh, if their blocks get stuck or caught and they can't uh, pry them apart, which which can happen. It happened uh, to me when I first got it, but it doesn't happen quite as often now. So if you take this blue uh, brick remover, you can easily remove those from the for many piece. The only issue I've had is whenever they're stuck together like this and I, and I put them down and I haven't had that issue lately but sometimes they will stick together. Let's see if this will stick together. Um, no. It's very easy to remove. Uh, I'll try it on the other one here. Maybe this one will stick together. Like I said it hasn't happened in a while. Maybe I broke the, the pieces in but um, if it does happen, I can apply pressure to the, the bottom brick with my thumb. And you press firmly against it and rock the top part off with the, the brick remover. And it usually just comes right off. Not a problem. Now the other part of the, the other end of the brick remover tool is for the snap adapters that you put the, um, the base on. And you just put that over the part that sticks up and you just tilt it back. It comes up pretty easy. So, yeah, don't lose this tool. It'll save you a lot of frustration. Working with circuits can be a lot of fun, so if you've enjoyed this, check out our upcoming videos. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you next time.